What's up guys? Just uh, hanging out in the tent, killing some time. We got uh, Greg's bear off the mountain. It really wasn't too bad of a hike out. We just had to side hill and that soil is kind of sandy and stuff. So it wasn't the easiest to hike through. And then we had to go down through that bottom, which was really thick, but honestly it wasn't horrible. It's a really, really nice bear. He did a really good job. Uh, this morning we saw that one bear that we nicknamed Spicy. We think it's a sow um, that she's reddish cinnamon color, a lot of red in her coat. And she looks like she's an all right bear, but not anything um, giant. We know there's at least one other good bear in here. So uh, Trent's hiking in this afternoon to hunt with us. And we hope he's going to get here in time to glass tonight. It's like five o'clock now and usually we go up the mountain around six so we'll see if we get an in-reach message from him we sent him a point or a pin telling him basically where we go to uh glass so if we have to head up there before he gets here hopefully he can just meet us up there on our ridge where we've been glassing from and he's gonna hang out with us for a day or two or three until we hopefully until we tag out we have a couple other areas we can go check out if this area ends up uh not producing any more bears really so should be good uh we really only glassed one afternoon and one morning so there's still potential that we'll find another bear in here and like i said if we don't there's other areas to look at so we'll wait and see what happens and hopefully we can get on some more bears all right guys we found a big bear. I gotta move fast. I gotta get in position. I gotta drop down. I'm climbing up the other side. Steep. Really steep. This is a good bear. Yep, thick neck. He's coming right on front of Stan, I think. He's smelling. I think he smells Stan. He's running now. I think he caught scent. He's running right in front of him, I think. Shoot. Hopefully he comes up on the face for Stan to see him. Stand still prone. Yeah, he's sitting there glassing. Oh, I think he sees him now. Sitting prone. Oh, he's crawling up. Oh, good. So he sees it. Yeah, so he's going to see it. Yeah, he's getting down. He's on him.
Got him. Yep, he's rolling. There he goes. Okay, I see the bush shaking. Uh -huh. He stopped at that bush. Yeah, he smoked that thing. Yep. Awesome. I got him. I'm going to show you why I didn't get any footage in just a second. For those of you that don't know, this is my fourth year spring bear hunting. Three years in Idaho and one year in Montana. I averaged seven to nine days hunting. I think before this trip started for spring bears, I was at 25 days and I got here on Saturday. We didn't hunt that night. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So this is day 30 spring bear hunting and I just dumped a good one a really really good one let me show you what happened so he glassed him up from right there and i came running down this ridge walked up the road came up the back side of this gained 500 feet of elevation and the bear had been up over here there was a group of elk up high up there and he was kind of going back and forth below him like checking for a calf or something and then he came and started feeding down here and then right when I got on top of the ridge I saw just a flash of him go down and um I felt like he had got my wind the wind is kind of swirling a little bit and I was kind of discouraged but I just stayed up here and waited and then all of a sudden he popped out right there on the tip of that stick um actually sorry he was right there above that white log and I ranged it it was 200 yards and I shot him and he flipped right into that bush that white bush and he's a cinnamon color face like light brown and uh, I'm so excited my buddy Trent got here today and met up with me and Greg and uh, last year I shot a really pretty chocolate with Trent in the fall and, um, but I've wanted a cinnamon the whole time I've been coming up out west was to get a cinnamon and I just got him. So I'm pretty jacked. So the guys are, uh, I don't know if you can see them, but right, you see that log going across that white log and right there beside them. Ooh, focus. That's, uh, Greg standing right there and Trent's actually beside him to the side. They said they watched the whole thing. He said he got, got the kill shot through the phone scope. So that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh man. They, uh, I just sent them that when they, after I shot, they sent me an in reach message. <sighs> I guess I'm gonna go down there and look at him. I wanted to give him a second. I, I didn't hear a death moan or anything, but, uh, right. Uh, right there he went about three feet from where I shot him <laughs> yes another thing I didn't say was Greg last night shot his bear from right there and it was standing right here and tonight I just shot my bear right there man I think we have found a honey hole it is crazy how many bears this is our fourth bear in two days that we've seen in here well guys he could not have fallen <laughs> in a worse place holy smoke so thick uh you probably can't even really see him I'll try to get down there closer and look at him it's a big old barrel chested boar man i don't know how we're gonna get this thing out of here I hear Trent and Greg coming. So I just flipped them over a little so we can see the backside. Pretty cinnamon. Look at that ear though. It's been bitten off from fighting and this one is split. <laughs> oh. 
I'm so happy. He's a big bear. I don't know where his skull will go, probably. I don't know. 18. He's a dandy. All right, guys, so here he is. We rolled him all the way down the hill and got him right above the creek, and we're going to clean him up. But he's a, probably a five and a half or six foot cinnamon. He's super wide, super pretty. Half his ear is missing right here, and this ear is split. So he's a old fighter. We're going to get him cleaned up, pack him down to camp, and uh, it's a pretty good hunt. Pretty excited. So I killed my bear last night. We got back to camp about 10 or 10, 15 and it started to rain and it rained till like 3 a.m. and me and Greg stayed pretty dry. The trim got pretty wet, so we've been drying out stuff this morning and it was overcast and still a little rainy this morning. And then um, Greg took a load of meat to the truck, which is three miles, and me and Trent came up here to give it one more go and see if we could find a bear for him because we know there's at least two more in here. He just went up this hill here we had found a big pile of scat and found a place that big bear had been feeding. And um, he's gonna look, there's a big face that you can't see from down here. And I'm gonna start glassing all this. I'm not sure if we're gonna hunt tonight or stay tonight. Probably depends on what the weather's doing. Um, otherwise, uh, we're gonna head out and try to find somewhere I can get some meat frozen to fly home. Uh, but it's been a pretty good hunt. So we'll see if we can turn up anything here this morning. So this is the same drainage we've been hunting. I killed my bear right down there last night and Greg killed his up on this side. This bear is, let me show you guys. Right there, you can see that dark spot in the middle by the big evergreen. So the plan is for Trent to dive off of this slope here, down to the bottom, come up, on the back side to right in there somewhere and shoot up into that chute and hopefully get him so we'll see hopefully it all comes together so you can still see him he's feeding still hopefully he stays in there and Greg can or Trent can come up somewhere up that middle ridge right there shoot across is what we're hoping. Guys, Trent just got that bear. Well, he hit him. I watched it through the scope, um, but I saw it hit it and it spun and then it kind of loped off kind of slow into the trees on the right. But let me show you where he is. So Trent is, uh, I don't know if you can see him. Let me see. Um, right there, you can see him standing up. Right. Here comes a finger right there at the tip of my finger. He's standing up in the middle. And uh, he shot the bear right up there. So I'm going to pack up all my stuff and head over there, meet up with him and see if we can get on this bear. So I'm heading down the mountain. I'm going to drop my gun. I brought my gun in case we saw a wolf this morning. Um, or there was a long shot from where we were glassing so Trent could maybe use it. But um, going down the mountain, I'm going to drop my stuff at camp down here at the bottom go up the other side and try to help Trent find this bear. It looked like the shot might have been back just a tiny bit based on the way he reacted when I was watching, but I don't know for that for sure. So get up there, might have third bear in three days. Woo. So Trent was somewhere in here 
and his bear was right in that gap right there. That is not real far, so hopefully he's dead. He ran uh, that way into the trees. So the bear, the bear was right here when he shot him. And we shot him, or Trent shot him from right through that gap there. So he went that way. This climb up here was pretty brutal through that creek. Let's check out the size of this pine tree, guys. Absolutely massive. And look at all these scratches from uh, bears. Look at that one way up there. That is... Let's see. That's like pushing nine feet off the ground, that one right there. That is a big tree. Wow. Well, we found the bear. Trent had to shoot him again, hit him back a little bit. It's right down here by the tree. Hard to see. Right there though. Go down here and get a look at him. So this is a bear we watched for a couple days. Me and Greg named him Spicy because <laughs> he was cinnamon colored. But he just moved his head, so we're just going to give him a second to completely uh, finish and go up there and get him off the mountain. Here's Trent's bear. Actually hit her pretty far back. It's a female, but she didn't have a cub or anything. We've been watching her for three days, so we know she didn't have a cub. Super pretty, really similar to the boar I killed yesterday in color. Cinnamon with dark legs, really cool bear. So this is three bears in 42 hours out of almost the same drainage. The other two bears were killed right over that, that hill over there, that ridge right there. So pretty, pretty bear. Not a giant, but shall eat good. Check out how green the gums on this bear are and teeth. They've just been munching hard on all these green uh, plants with the yellow flowers. She's really pretty blonde underneath, real cinnamon and She's got kind of like a white blaze right there on her chest. Here are the bears. It's my bear. It's Greg's bear. It's Trent's bear. Pretty awesome. All color phase. Two cinnamons and a chocolate. All really good bears. I don't know what this pack weighs, but it's really heavy. I'm gonna weigh it. Let me get back to the truck. I think I got about a mile to go. Mm -hmm. 